Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Will, and we are back with more Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory today. And I am so excited to get back into this because I spent most of the weekend grinding a near replicant, trying to work my way towards possibly a platinum. And good lord, is that boring as hell. <laughs> All right, um. Let's uh, get into this. God, I, I've been wanting to play this ever since we were playing this on Friday. I got the bug. I got the rhythm bug. I really wanna try to clear some more of these. Um. All right, where were we with up here? Okay, this was data scape. And yeah, we got the uh, two teams, Dream, the Dream Drop Distance team, as well as the Birth by Sleep team. Uh -huh. We're going to do Birth by Sleep first, uh, without a doubt. And I don't know how far we'll get. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. I th think maybe we'll do... All the way up to, like, these two worlds. And then maybe this group of worlds here. And then maybe work on some just, uh, completing... Others. I think that's what we'll try to do for today. We'll see. I don't want to get too far into it. But, uh, let's... Actually, check our team real quick. I think I might put on uh, the Birth by Sleep team. And it's weird that Birth by Sleep is very the very last one. And we're going to put them on. We're going to try them out to see how this goes. Or if we actually need someone with like some levels to do some of these. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, neither of them require any kind of difficulty, it seems like. Okay, hit all star targets. Uh, I'm gonna start off a little slow today. Actually, you know what? Let's keep that on. They're level 1. Let's try to boost them up higher. And we still haven't gotten another Mickey emblem. Or item. We're still stuck at two. Look at those little dudes. Walking about with their little chibi heads. Nice, all right. We gotta assume there's probably another group of them. Oh, oh my god, I don't know why. I saw it coming. And I just hit a triangle instead. And I'm like, why? Why did I do that? Again? I, God dang it. What the heck? I just hit triangle again. I, why am I doing that? Alright. But hey, that's why we're playing on uh, the lowest uh, setting right now, just to warm back up. This has been a bit.
Okay, I think we got all the stars. And, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got the score. It's so weird that some of them require you to be on a higher level to get the score. Just because the more enemies. And then others are just like... So base that you can do like A, maybe even B on beginner. And still get it. And we believe we get a little bit seen. Oh, wait, no, we have to complete both. Mobby. Alright, uh, there was 60% HP or more. Alright, we're gonna do this again on beginner. We'll try to shake off this bunk I'm in. Really tired today, and I don't know why. It's like, oh my god. I got one good there. Certain sections of that song, I is super easy to follow the rhythm. But then the the parts where I messed up on them were the parts where I kind of lost track of um, the rhythm. Oh, booyah! Double plus. Yeah, look at that part where it just fell off in the middle. Oh my god, seven! Alright, let's, let's play the uh, thing. We'll definitely have to play it on harder difficulty. Master Ericus's three apprentices affirmed their bonds of friendship as they prepared for the Mark of Mastery exam. But Aqua was the only one to pass the exam and become a Keyblade Master. Leaving Terra no time for disappointment, the three immediately received word that creatures called the Unversed had emerged to threaten the World of Light, and Master Xehanort had gone missing. Both Terra and Aqua were tasked with bringing the situation under control. Meanwhile, a masked boy left Ventus with a distressing thought. Terra resisted the call of darkness as he sought out Xehanort and the Unversed. Ventus chased after him, and Aqua carried out orders to monitor Terra. 
everything was going perfectly according to Master Xehanort's plan. We got Twilight Shard. It can open all the doors. Just like shabam. Alright. Let's uh, replay that one level one more time. Right, we're getting low on those, but we're still like way up on all the HP stuff. Which we won't even really need, probably, for this. Definitely doing, I think, less. It's just that double tap that's that they just added, basically. That's messing up my rhythm. Okay, that was weird. Um, I was expecting a double tap, but it wasn't. It was just like very slightly off was the uh, one that I messed up on. It's a double tap across two lanes. It's like, ah, I hate those. Okay, that was... Was that significantly more? Yeah, that was significantly more. Sorry, for a second there I had to look at the uh, meter next to it and I'm like, wait, did I just get uh, 14 or just did I get another 7 on top of the 7 I had last time? But no. Okay, so yeah, that uh, helped out. Finally, summoning star. There we go. Alright, we'll return to the overworld and we'll continue forward. Yeah, we're just over halfway on that one. Uh, let's go Sleeping Beauty. Or not Sleeping Beauty, uh... Oh my god. And I hit Circle. Dang it. Not today. Not again. I'm not doing that thing. I keep hitting Circle on out. X. Ah. Uh, it begins... Oh, good lord. Break all barrels and boxes. Alright. I'll just focus on breaking all the barrels and boxes. I don't know if we saw Riku and the Dream Eaters as a loading screen yet.
I don't know why that shoe messed me up. Oh my god. It's just because it's like jumping and it's hard to really get exactly where it's going. Yeah, it's weird. Those hopping shoes. One, it was jumping up and down, and it was also hopping forward, so it's just like... I was just not reading that one correctly when it was coming at us. And again, it's always so weird. Every so often, they'll give you an objective that's just like... Just one small section in the whole song, and you're like, Oh, there's gotta be more coming up, and it's just like... No, that was all of it. I was just like, okay. If I hit all the uh, barrels and whatnot. Oh my god, look at that. 1%! 1%! We're gonna play that again, try to get that. Ah, 1%! Off from what we needed. Oh my god, okay, I think I already messed it up. Oh my god, I don't know why that freaking jumping shoe just breaks my brain when I try to do the timing for it. Yeah, I messed it up. We are 100% not getting this. Oh, the song's already almost over. Yeah, I messed way too much of that up. Oh my god. Terrible. Freaking jumping shoe. <laughs> my downfall. Okay, I have to try that one more time. Freaking jumping shoe. Good lord. Every time. Hey, what's going on? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna do beginner for this. Good lord. I'm, I'm too sleep deprived to focus <laughs> on a jumping shoe. Wow, not good. We're going good.
Alright, that was a weird little difference between... Alright, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it feels like I'm doing a lot more of the triangle for this one. Okay, maybe, maybe. Okay. Double plus, that's a good sign. And we're up to level 10 already. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Alright, barely. That's a mean thing to do. Try to get rainbow excellent. Which, by the way, just call it perfect. That's what it is. Come on, man. I hate the naming convention of this game. Why do you have two settings that are both excellent? It's just like... Just call one perfect. Oh, that's a great shot. Nice. Alright, let's return to the world and let's uh, proceed forward. Wait, why doesn't this have a rating on it? Oh, I'm dumb, that's why. <laughs> Get all targets with a rating of excellent or better? Fuck you. Well, star targets, never mind. Okay, not as butthurt as I thought. Alright. Okay, this sounds slow. I mean, it's, it sounds like the leading thing is gonna be the bassoon. And the... Uh, that's not known for being a fast playing instrument. <laughs> Let's go shredding on the bassoon! Rock out! Sorry, just the double tap parts. I wasn't really hearing the difference. Oh, I was like... I didn't even see what we got for those. Sorry. Oh, that was so fucking mean at the end. <laughs> okay, but we got through it okay. Yeah, at the beginning, there was just a simple, like, two, like, double tap. Or not double tap, just, um... Just two of them, just, like, right in front of one another. And it's just, like, I was just not hearing it in the song. So it's just, like, why do they need me to... Do that so it messed up my timing because as soon as i hear like obviously this is the instrument that they're using in the song that they're doing the rhythm to and as soon as i hear like the timing in there good wait what literally nothing Fuck. 
all, we're gonna have to replay that, obviously. Oh, there we go, I was just saying, I wasn't sure if I saw those guys as the loading screen before. Damn it, Batty got me. Damn it, I messed up again. Yeah, that end part is I don't know I don't know why, but when they do like a lot of rapid stuff like that, I find it easier than just the weird like off time ones. Although I guess that's probably with everyone. Off timing is usually pretty difficult for most people. Hey hey, okay. Oh god, what is with today? That's the second time today I was off by 1%. Okay, we'll go back, go back to the world because at least we got some stars and we could probably open up the door. Actually, yeah, I don't know if, uh, if I just go through this song, if that will count and I can get the door to open or if I have to get any of those missions cleared before the door will open. Alright, I really want to know what the Stitch level music is. Alright. And we're gonna do this one, clear the door, and then we'll come over here and do all of these. Break a hundred barrels and boxes. Right. Little jelly bean dog jumping. God, what the hell? <laughs> Those are such weird things that screw me up. even something as dumb as just a turn that just throws off my rhythm There 
go, there we go. Yeah, all weekend I was only really thinking about like, well, one play destroy all humans, which I finally got to after freaking almost an entire year of waiting to play that game. So I finally started that up, and uh, yeah, playing this game as well. I wanted to do. I was thinking about maybe trying to do a run through with like one of the other teams to try to level them up through like the previous levels or something. Wow, 12... Oh my god, why do they do this? <laughs> 12 barrels broken out of 100. God! <laughs> so much replay that I'm gonna have to do. Oh yeah, I also got, like, oddly super into the new Pokemon game that came out, the, uh... Pokemon Unite, where it's basically the Pokemon MOBA that just came out that's free. Usually I'm not super into MOBAs, but for some reason I got the bug. Got like way into that. I just watched like a six hour stream of someone playing it and I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, without items, so we need to go on without items on this one. Great! Now is it? Oh, that's okay, man. I mean, like, I'm really tired right now, so it's just like, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be that, act, like, talkative. Every so often, I go through funks of, like, insomnia, so it's just like, ah, I just want to not be conscious right now. That would be great. <laughs> Oop, there we go. All right. always a weird combo triangle and another button I feel like that's probably like the least comboed um, like the least uh, button combination that they do Writing a story. What kind of story? Just like, uh. Like, what kind of writing are we talking here? <laughs> like a book, a manga, video game, script kind of situation? Or 
Or is it school related? Okay, defeat all multi pack enemies. Okay. Okay. Out. Neverland. God, I really hope one day we could go back there. Alright, hold on. Let me try... That one, no. Uh, let's try this one again. We could probably do it. Oh, nice. Are you gonna, uh, try to record, like, in-game using, like, an Elgato or something? Or are you gonna do, like, a... 3D program... ...to, uh, film it? game I thought would be like really good at that is uh, No Man's Sky. I always thought would be something interesting to uh, do a story in like that. He's like, it's literally an infinite expanding universe. And I haven't heard anyone do that yet for No Man's Sky. No! Oh, why did I blub it up? It's always like the last two. Oh god, you haven't heard of it? Okay, it's like... I think it's five years old. When it initially came out, people were kind of disappointed in it because it was very bare bones, but since then, they've like added an insane amount of DLC. Like, it's basically... You randomly get spawned on a randomly generated planet, and you can explore an entire universe. And you get a ship, you can modify the ship, you can build bases, you can do mining, you can fly to other planets. And the good and bad thing about that game is that, like, you can, like, depending on what ship you have, the uh, space travel is different. So it's like, it could take you a long time to fly to another planet, or you could just do a warp drive and just warp to the next planet. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. I need to get more into it. I bought it when it first came out, when it was super bare bones, and I haven't played any of the ex expansions to it, but it's like all free like DLC expansions and add-ons and stuff that they put up for it. But uh, at this point, it's like pretty crazy dope because apparently you can do like space freighters and get like custom made ones like that. And uh, they really like upgraded the hell out of it. Uh, 
We're gonna play it again just because I'm an idiot and I messed up that last uh, triangle combo at the end. Yeah, and I believe like one of their newest updates, they introduced like a horror element. You, like finding abandoned ships just floating in space. So kind of like an alien uh, isolation kind of feel to it. I don't know how in depth they go with that. But yeah, if you ever wanted to do like a space themed story, I'd say try it in that. Because that seems like a great one to do. Because like you have a like insanely large amount of planets you could choose from. Because I believe um, they used like random generation for it. So all the planets get randomly generated and made up. So I think the count was there was like, I don't know, like 80 quadrillion planets made. For that game or something it was some insane number and that was just at launch i don't know if that that numbers probably went up by now so it's like you definitely have planet variety <laughs> and i always find it interesting you don't really hear it's like one of those games where where if uh, you're into it like you're into it but if you're not you don't really hear about it at least that's how i feel unless there's like a new like, expansion coming out for it. Take that. Yeah, I'm only focusing now on trying to get those multi-hits. Okay, here we go. That's the one that always screws me up, alright? Yeah, and it's also got like, like, I don't know how many alien races, I think only three or four, but it's one of those things where you don't know the alien language, so you can't understand them, but over time you'll pick up like runes and stuff and find different runes of their language, and then you can slowly start understanding their language through like subtitles will basically be unlocked piece by piece. And that's like, that was a cool aspect. It's like, yeah, learn a language. Boom! That's something that not a lot of games do, because that could be hella tedious. Especially when you're trying to converse with an alien race. And, it, and I believe the whole... The whole mystery of the game is you have to get to the center of the universe. Like, basically where the Big Bang happened. And it's like, you can choose to go there, or you can go in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> But yeah, that game was uh, pretty cool. At first, it was, uh, it's basically solo. Like, you can run into other players, but there wasn't any real way to, like, group up with your friends. But I believe they fixed that, and, like, you can now, like, kind of co-op it with your friends once you get off, like, your first planet. Get all simultaneous targets. They were 50% or more. All right, we're going to do the hard difficulty, and we're not going to worry about the HP one. Yeah, and like, um... Like, the main focus of the game, apart from, like, the story, is very similar to Minecraft, where it's, like, it's not really focused on fighting. It's more focused on, like, mining and, like data logging different plants and like animals that you find so it's more based on like exploration and crafting than actual fighting but you can do like basic like fighting with uh characters or you could do like uh dog fighting in your spaceship and one of the coolest parts is that like you can be in your ship on the planet fly around and you can also then just like go up into space as a seamless transfer. 
And it's pretty incredible. Oh my god, that last part really sped up. Oh my god. Well, this one's a goddamn nightmare. And I just noticed what... Our score is, and it is not looking good. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. Mm. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Yeah, I'm 100% gotta replay this one. I deserve that C. I'm a failure! Alright. What's this? Every time I hear someone say Roxas's name, I always think of the scene at the uh, beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. Where it's Ansem and Axel saying his name at the same time, and they kind of just like blend together. Roxas, Roxas, Roxas. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, let's play that again. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Don't know why I jump. I am just not getting the rhythm of this at all. Oh, fuck that part. Yeah, that fat guy, he dicked me over so bad. A 15 hit, and it's just like, really awkward timing on some of them. I'm gonna take the loss on that one and just try to clear the rest of these. Alright, did better there. Okay. 
Okay, God, it's like dun 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 dun. It's just like it's two, three, and then like that huge cluster of a bunch of them. Or there's two, two, three, three, and then a huge cluster. Okay, we got it up to a B. Oh, our score. Okay. Well, we definitely increased it. We still need to hit it up more. You still haven't hit all simultaneous targets. All right. Playing it again. Oh my god. Okay, these have become actually like kind of difficult to do now. I was complaining for like the first like Kingdom Hearts like one and two section that a lot of the missions were pretty base. I'm just not... Like, this section, obviously, easy because it stands out what instrument is really, uh... We're following the rhythm to. But on those quicker sections, I'm just not really being able to uh, focus on the rhythm of the music at all. Oh, duh, yeah, those had simultaneous hits. Fucking fat guy. This level's taking my lunch. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. I messed up on literally the easiest part. That's not road well for the future. Okay. God, oh my god, oh my god, we are getting worse. <laughs> oh, not well. Not well, my friend. Oh god. You know what? How about we just do the two simpler ones? <laughs> Let's do that. Good lord. Also, oh, the cleared rating really does mean nothing. <laughs> Alright, I'm... I'm... I'm taking an L on this one for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, what's everybody playing tonight? Cause I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna play after, uh... Once I beat this.
Freaking jumping shoe. My worst enemy. God damn it. <laughs> Taking a loss. There we go. Hey, suck it. <laughs> Eat it, world. Two out of three. Soon to be three out of three. No time is it? All right. Oh my God! It's a, all right. <laughs> I thought we've been playing for a lot longer. All right. Let's do. Let's do this world. Eh. No. Let's hold off. Let's do the cuts. Wait the cutscene for last. Let's do the stitch. Oh God. Get all ability crystals. Alright, we're gonna do this one on standard. Try to take out those two, and then uh, we'll do it on the hard difficulty. Oh look, we got Stitch in our party! Okay, that was awkward. was kind of a cluster at the end. <laughs> Alright, 
Yeah, they kind of made her a bit of a damsel in Kingdom Hearts 3, technically, I'd say, probably. But then they rectify it within the game itself, so. Unlike Kairi, who will forever be useless. <laughs> what does Nomura have against this character? <laughs> Okay, so we got those, at least. Ooh! Nice. What- what one's that? Uh... Can't see the hilt from here. That's the... There? No. Oh, Gula's duh. It says it right there. I'm an idiot. Alright. <laughs> Which, by the way, some of the weirdest frickin' names are those guys. It's been 20 years. I've given up. She has no potential. <laughs> Alright. There has been so many games, and it's just like, it will never happen. This was the last straw. It's like, she's the character on the cover of the game, and she's the narrator. This will probably be the most action she ever gets without, like, getting murdered. <laughs> it all star targets with the rating of excellent or more. Yeah, let's go through some of these just on standard. So weird. The timing of this one just feels very off from the music. Shit. Well, at least now I know where it is in the song. The last one's excellent. Maybe we got one. Hey, we got an A. Oh, okay, we did get both of them. Nice. All right. Get all ability crystals on. Alright. Well, let's retry that one on the hard difficulty. We can do it. Yeah, there, there weren't too many crystals really in that one. Um, okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's go to the Moogle shop first. We haven't been there yet today. And do this one. 
we we'll have to get more uh, Twix gems. Oh my god, we need so many Lucid Shards. A lot of Twilight Gems and Twilight Shards for that one. through that rest of the list. Uh, we've got so many blazing shards. Oh, I just realized I could make these. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we got it to the highest level. Wow, level 8. Alright, nice. We almost got this team to, uh, level 20. Alright, let's go back in here. Play this one on a harder difficulty. And we're gonna use a Mickey star. Or actually, no, 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 we won't... What am I thinking? No. We don't need... EXP or anything for this one. This one's just hit the crystals. Almost wasted that item we just made. <laughs> God, I almost messed that one up. God, come on. Oh, why am I so shitty at this thing? Sometimes? Okay, we barely survived that, but we got through it and we hit all the crystals. That's all that matters! Alright. B. Oh, hey, hey! Nice. A little scene from Dream Drop Distance. Right at the end there. Alright, let's go to the overworld. And that's a uh, do up. Yeah, other worlds. 
Now, what do we got up here? Okay, so those are the three endings. So weird. Okay, so this is at Sleeping Beauty's castle, but then the Sleeping Beauty world is like over here. Don't they have just rearranged it so Sleeping Beauty should have been like right here? So it directly leads to that. Why, Namora? Oh god. Get all simultaneous targets, that would be easy. Dodge all range attacks, that's also really easy. Okay, what was it? Uh, defeats 55% or more of aerial enemies. Okay. Dodge all range attacks. Yep. Dodge all range attacks. Alright, let's see how much of a nightmare this is gonna be. <laughs> Wow, already dropping the ball. Awesome. I think I'm doing good with the simultaneous attacks at least. Okay, wow. All right. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried doing the HP thing as well as all the other stuff. I mean, we're going so good. Okay, we're going to return to the overworld. We're going to add items on this time. Yeah, at this point, you have to do just like two of them, not all three at the same time. At least for me. Yeah, forget about the HP part. That one's that one doesn't matter, just the other ones. My legs are asleep. How did I? Oh my god, I already missed that. I was more hyper focused on uh, dodging that.
God, that was so terrible at the end. All right, uh, what's your favorite food? Um, I am a basic bitch. I am just happy with some cheeseburgers and fries. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's return the overworld. Oh my God! All right. Um, hit all simultaneous targets. You were there. Okay, we definitely won't be able to do that. Across the board, we're doing all of them. Let's see how this goes. that up. Oh my god, I think we might have barely cleared it. We missed a simultaneous target, and we didn't even get the score, you bitch. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it, that's, def that's definitely been like the number one like hard thing to do is the uh, highest difficulty rating scores now have become like the number one thing that always get me. I want to hit try again. But, uh, hold on. Let me check to make sure everything's going all good. Uh, check all stream stuff. I... Going good. Well, always do what I do. Just, like, go through the entire collection. <laughs> That took me about a few months, although to be fair, I was doing it exclusively on stream. Well, almost exclusively on stream. I did grind for parts. But yeah, it, it took a while to get through. 
And uh, Nomura did say that the next announcement for Kingdom Hearts stuff is going to be next year for the uh, 20th anniversary, but that could just be uh, the, uh, you know, the whole collection's on PS5 now, yay! Which is 100% going to happen, but it's whether or not they actually announce any other game with it, which I really hope they do. the sucker again. Damn it already. Almost messed that one up. Oh my god, flubbed that up. Honestly, this song's actually pretty short. Oh my god, we're getting closer and closer. It was 69, wasn't it? Was the score that we needed? Fudge and a half. All right, we're doing it again. Oh, weird. Art Firm Recoded. The game that almost everyone forgets. All right, we're doing it again. Come on. Yeah, this one's actually pretty short, luckily. Right. It's a quite a bit of double taps. Damn it, it's the birds that throw me off. I keep thinking that I have to jump to hit them. Dang it. Messed up again.
shakalaka. <laughs> we did it. What do I think it is? Okay, so the best, uh... So yeah, it's just gonna be the basic, like, the port that they did for PS3 and PS4. That's 100% just gonna be it, probably, for, uh, next-gen consoles, at the very least. Um... And then, I'm, I'm guessing that they're probably going to be like, yes, we're working on the next mainline game. At the very least. Like, there's gonna be, like, one other announcement other than that. Uh, it's probably going to be a side game. It's probably what we're going to get first before an actual mainline game again. But I don't know. Like, my theory was, like, maybe they do a Yozora spinoff, which I think would be smart, but I doubt that will happen. Um, what we know is happening at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 is that uh, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus go off on their own. So that could be a game. Or, uh, Riku and King Mickey apparently were kind of backtracking, like, where Sora went. So I think those two are probably in the leads for, like, the most likely stories for the next side games that are coming out. Unless they do something crazy, like, we're remaking the handheld game Union Crossing for console. But that's, like, I doubt they're gonna do that. Maybe they'll do a movie again. That would probably fit. Because now the story for Union Crossing is over. But yeah, I think it will be a side game for either Aqua or Riku. Or like, the Birth by Sleep crew, or like Riku. I'm assuming- I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be Birth by Sleep. And then they'll probably be like, yeah, we are working on Kingdom Hearts 4. Maybe, I don't know. Last time they announced that, and it's just like, it took a decade to get through. So it's just like, I don't know. But yeah, they have three different teams working on games. A mobile division, which works on uh, Union Crossing, but that's over now. But there's still the uh, the Ansem story that's going on in there. Not Ansem, the... Uh... Oh my god, why am I trying to blink on his stupid fucking name? <laughs> the main bad guy, what's his face? When he's young, when he's younger with Ericus, Like that, I believe, is still going on mobile. So, there's that team, then there's the team that makes the side games, which we haven't heard what they've been doing since uh, Melody of Memory came out. And then, of course, the main team, which the main team probably has the biggest lead on all the teams, because uh, when did the DLC come out? Like a, a years ago? A year and a half ago? So they've had all that time working on the main game, and then... Uh, the side team has only since a Melody of Memory came out, which has been about a year. Return to the world and play a trailer. It turns out that when I was little, Aqua came to my rescue in Radiant Garden. Then she reunited with Terra and Ventus, but once again, their paths and hearts quickly diverged. Terra was guided by a light to a young boy Riku. He bequeathed Riku his Keyblade. Meanwhile, Ventus learned he would become the Keyblade, and Master Ericus tried to seal him away. Determined to save his friend, Terra unleashed the power of darkness as he faced his own master. The Keyblade would form when pure light and pure darkness clashed. Ventus set out toward the Keyblade graveyard, to bring all of this to an end. There were rumors about that early on, around like Kingdom Hearts 2 even, like they talked about making a Disney show, but nothing ever came of it. So like when Disney Plus came out, people started talking about maybe them doing a show, but I don't know. Until they announce it, I just assume it's not happening because stories like that have happened before where they were saying they were gonna try to make a Disney show. All right. Got all of that. 
So I think that's as far as we're going to do for new places today. And now we're just going to kind of go back and try to clear out some of these older ones. Because we got a lot, a lot to actually complete. God, so many. All right, what do we what do we got here? Let's start with Hercules here. Okay, this one's easy. It's just uh, having to replay it a couple times. Hit simultaneous targets. All right, let's see how this one goes. Oh, fudge. want to jinx us, but we are about halfway. And all we need is the simultaneous hits. Yay! Okay. Holy shit. Alright, uh... Where are we going with... Boom. Okay, yeah. That was actually surprisingly better than I thought. A. Eh. But I was mainly just doing it for the simultaneous hits, which there was a shitload in that one. Oh, boom. Got it. Alright, sweet. Ooh, nice. Okay, this eye bothers me. Okay, you see the eye on that Keyblade. What does that mean? Because on Xehanort's Keyblade, that eye was... That Keyblade was handed down to him from Master of Masters. Well, like, over time it got handed down, but it ended up in his care. But it was originally the Master of Masters, and his eye was embedded into the Keyblade. But then, uh... This boy has one, and even on Riku's uh, Keyblade... The really sick one with like the demon wing that also had the same eye embedded on it are those extensions of the master of masters eye or is that just a motif because i find it weird that all these dark keyblades have them or ones that could be like tangentially connected to darkness have the eye on them they're gonna do something as i just know it oh you're a dreamer <laughs> Right, let's return to the world. Yeah, the whole uh, crew that runs with like young Ericus and Xehanort, I, I think they're pretty cool. I think they all have their own like armor and stuff, just like Birth by Sleep. I still need to look into that game. I haven't looked into it properly. And, like, I still need to do the whole eight-hour cutscene that is uh, Union Crossing. 
He's like, I saw the end, like, I know parts of it, and I saw the ending of it, but I don't know, like, the fine details of the rest of the story. Although I do know the big change-up that they did. Yeah, another new trio. The new trio is gonna be Yozora in his team. I can't remember. I was just playing Kingdom Hearts 3, too. Jesus Christ. Um, When it shows Yozora for the first time, when they go to the uh, Toy Story world, was it Yozora and two of his friends, or was there more than two friends? Because if not, those three could be a trio. The new trio. Like, you're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Have you hit the uh, uh, toy box level? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna pull it up right now on my side, just to check it. Because I'm pretty sure there's at least two other people with him. There might be three. But if there's two other, that is 100% a trio that's coming. Because, uh... God, I can't remember if we talked about this, but, uh... Nomura originally was working on Final Fantasy XV when they first announced it. And then, like, he got off that team somehow. But I can't remember what circumstances, whether they booted him off or he uh, just, like, moved on. I think he just kind of, like, got forced over to doing Kingdom Hearts 3. Because 15 was taking forever. And everyone was waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. But, uh, yeah, so Yozora and all that's kind of like a ripoff of uh, what he wanted to do with Final Fantasy XV. At least that's what people are saying. I mean, the cutscene at the end of the DLC is literally the announcement cutscene for Final Fantasy XV when it first debuted back in like 2008 or some shit. <laughs> that thing was announced a long time ago. Check the remote. Gotta make sure. Oh. Okay, defeat a total of 20 multi attacks. Alright, that would be easy. Alright, I have a pulled up right here. Yeah, there's the dude with red hair and a hat, the guy with the uh, glasses that do the shields. And then there's Yozora. That's three right there. Yep, that's the trio. That's 100% the new trio. There's a red-haired guy with the hat, and his short-haired friend with glasses, and then Yozora. That's gonna be the trio, I'm calling it now. Alright, um... We're gonna do this on hard difficulty because those usually have a lot. Multi-attack enemies. Alright, let's do this. Fifteen or just Final Fantasy in general? Oh my god, I never noticed that. When you hit pause during this, it has it up in the right-hand corner. I did not realize that. Oh, in general? Okay. Um, Final Fantasy is pretty great. Um, 
I don't know how much you know about the series, but like basically every game is its own individual thing, so you don't have to play any of the previous. As long as it's not like 13, 13, 2, 13 Lightning Returns. Like if it's say if it shares the same number, then it they're like all connected. But like if it's a different number, then it's like basically its own like universe. Uh I'd say try 7 remake. That is super good. Um 15 is if you're looking just for for a relaxing open world game, I'd say do 15. The story some people love, some people hate the story. There have been updates to it. I think it's okay. But unfortunately, it it suffers from the whole like kind of Kyrie syndrome when it comes to a romance where it's like these people are in love, but then like you never really see their relationship and that's kind of like what a lot of that story hinges on is uh this guy trying to get to his wedding or like his uh fiance for their wedding and it's like oh you hear about like they're gonna get married but then you never actually really see their relationship at all through the game because like they're separated and it's just like dude <laughs> this is some nomura ass writing right here when it comes to uh, relationships Oh my god. Oh wow, that was a weird, like... Yeah, they're actually remaking the original uh, Final Fantasy. The one way back from the uh, Nintendo. They're making a brand new one. And it's unclear if it's literally a remake, or if it's like a continuation it just takes place in like the same universe and they just announced it at e3 so that looks pretty dope but it looks like uh final fantasy 15 which with 15 they really tried to push realism which kind of like made some of the characters feel a bit uh flat design wise Opposed to like some of the other games. Oh my god, why can't I get this triple timing? Oh my god. Oh my god, that triple timing, I do not know why, it's so weird. Just those three in a row, I just... There's something about it that the timing is just like, slightly slower than I keep on trying to do. Yeah, I looked up, I just looked up the cutscene. That was, uh, that you see when you first go to Toy Story. And it 100% is, just... Yozora and two of his friends, and they're trying to save a girl that's being taken away. So it's like, that's, that's going to be the trio, 100%. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just, I was just checking chat. And I couldn't remember if I answered that, but, uh... Yeah, even Kingdom Hearts, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy, uh, 14 is a MMORPG, so it's like all online. Unfortunately, it's a pay-to-play game, and I think it's, I can't even remember what it is. I think it's like 15 or $20 a month. But it is super good. Um, I haven't played it in a very long time. But every expansion, everyone says it's always amazing. And uh, that's more of like old school Final Fantasy. Where like Final Fantasy basically gets broken down to two categories. There's like old school like knights and horses style. And then like Final Fantasy 7 which is more like futuristic fantasy. Kind of cyberpunkish, But not really. That was a nightmare to play through, so we're gonna lower the difficulty because I can't get that triple for some reason. I keep messing up on it. Oh my god, yeah. The multi attacks, there's so few of this. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna go through it again. We're gonna try 
get it on this difficulty. Yeah, like, they pop out Final Fantasy games pretty frequently. Um, I mean, they already announced 16. That's coming out. Plus the remake of the original Final Fantasy game. However, that's going to turn out. Or extension of the original game. It's unclear what it is exactly. But, yeah, we've already got those two Final Fantasy games announced. Whoop. Plus, uh, the uh, 7 remake is still going. Because what was released was only part 1. It's going to be an ongoing thing. With multiple parts. Uh, 3 or 4 different parts, I believe, is what we're looking at right now. But there could be more. Like, we just got DLC for it, which was something nobody even really thought about. So, we're not only getting the game remade in, like, multiple parts. We're also getting additional DLC to each part as well. But, uh, yeah, 7 is hella good. Definitely recommend that. And a lot of people hate on Final Fantasy 13. Just because it's, like, super, like, linear. But I'd definitely recommend playing that. If you were looking to get into Final Fantasy. Because, uh, 13, like, the original is really good. 13-2 is okay. But then they finish out the series with uh, Lightning Returns, which is, I think, one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. I have not played all of them yet, but I have played, like, I'd say about a solid, almost 50%. Yeah. Well, actually, we don't know the situation, to be fair. But yeah, it does look like she's a damsel. Honestly, I'm surprised. Like, not a lot of games do this. Because generally, whenever they do, it doesn't turn out well. But what they should do is like, oh, she's the damsel in distress. And then when you get there at the end, it's like, heel turn. Nope, she was the bad guy all along. Suck it. You're in a trap. It's like, that would be cool. They will never do that, but it would be cool. <laughs> okay, one more time, and then we have this freaking thing completed. Because usually whenever they do, like, a dam- not a damsel in distress specifically, but, like, a love interest, and it turns out to be the bad guy, those usually turn out bad. <laughs> but it's like, it has such a potential to be good, especially if it's a surprise.
dang it. I don't know what's up with that triple with the crates at the end. I just, like, I'll get the first two, but then, like, the crate just won't, like, just won't sync up. Okay, Riku and Namine, I don't really think is a thing. Because it's supposed to be Namine and Roxas? Or is it Roxas and Shion? God, so many of those are Sora. They're all Sora, so it's just like weird. <laughs> but, uh, I think... Like, the main thing that does like that shows Riku and Namine's relationship is the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 when he comes to get her but I think that's more out of duty of like replica Riku kind of like gave up himself for Namine so I think it's more of like Riku's going to protect Namine and it's not an actual like romantic relationship kind of situation At least that's how I read it. We'll see. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be surprising if they did go there, but at the same time, like, it kind of felt like maybe Roxas and Namine would go there. But it's like, again, if you really think about it, none of them have really had a lot of interaction with one another. Because, like, hmm. Well, okay. There was the time where Sora was sleeping for a year, and Riku was working with Diz, and kind of Namine. So I guess we haven't really seen their relationship too much, but they could have spent a lot of time together then. But before that, like... I think he just met her at the end of Chain of Memories. Because the whole time we see him together a lot of the time, that's Replica Riku. So, maybe they spent about a year together when Sora was sleeping. But we haven't really seen their relationship, really. Yeah, yeah, that that's the scene I'm just talking about. That kind of like... I don't know, you could read that many ways. We'll see. Because in Kingdom Hearts 2, it kind of felt like they were trying to do Namine and Roxas. But again, it's just like, they spend, all these characters spend actually so little time together, if you really like, think about it. So, it's hard to really say what their relationship status is. That's why Kairi and Sora are like the only relationship in the game, because it's like, yeah, they grew up together. Everyone else only know each other for like, about a week. <laughs> and then they get separated for like, a year. And then they meet up for like a week, and then they get separated for another year. Sora's constantly unconscious in that series. Birth by sleep, dream drop distance, it's like, good lord. A concussion isn't good, Sora. But, uh... Yeah, I think... Oh god, we're already at time, shoot. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Uh, next time... Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let's return to the overworld. Yeah. I- and I honestly don't really care for Sora and Kairi's relationship. And it's just because it's like, Oh, well we're together. Well why are you together? Because we're together? And it's just like there's no real, like, you don't actually really see their relationship. Like apart from them being on the island in Kingdom Hearts 1, they're like always apart. So it's just like, what is your actual relationship here, buddy? <laughs> okay, so we're going to end it here for today. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be continuing Genshin Impact, the new update, exploring the new territory that just came out. Uh, if you haven't played it, highly suggest trying it out. It's free and it's hella fun and uh, super anime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to be playing that tomorrow. Probably going to do a three hour stream tomorrow with that. Because of the whole new region that just came out. 
And on Wednesday, we'll get back into here. We'll play this section. We'll probably finish out Birth by Sleep. And uh, again, go back, try to complete some of these areas. And then Friday might just be a uh, work stream where we just try to clear up all of these areas. Because I've got so many worlds that I just need to be completed. So we'll probably do that one on Friday. And then, yeah, Thursday, Genshin Impact. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be continuing Destroy All Humans, the 2020 remake of that game. Uh, interesting experience going back and replaying that over the weekend. Uh, didn't realize, like, the audio sounds like they just kind of ripped it from the original game. So at times, the audio can sound weird. And again, it's, it's odd. It's a remake? But they keep all of, like, the weird flaws that the original had, where it's like, you could improve on it a little bit. <laughs> Would it kind of just, like, do the bare minimum company that made this? What was it? Uh, THQ Nordic that made it? But, uh, yeah, that's the plans for the rest of the week. Uh, thank you very much for coming out hanging out. Really appreciate if you hit that follow button. Really helps me out. And if you want to see any of my past streams, they're all over on my YouTube channel. Link down below, as well as a link over to my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online. And what I'm playing. And, uh, generally any trailers or whatnot that I find interesting. And that is it for day 328. Uh, thank you again for coming out hanging out. Really appreciate it. And, uh, hopefully I will see you, uh, next time we play Kingdom Hearts, which is Wednesday, or maybe tomorrow, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much, and see you later. Bye-bye!